chili con carnage, and we are making bacon chocolate. Where do we start? All right, well here we got some bacon fat, nice and hot over here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna throw in a mix of things. We're gonna throw in some beautiful red onion. Love that Just sound. like that, yeah, you love that sizzling sound. We've got some garlic mm -hmm. in there, all right. We've got some cumin. It's gonna give it a nice Tex-Mexy flavor. Mm, that's a little bit you. of smoked paprika, sure is. Absolutely. And that adds a gorgeous red color. A little bit of salt, that brings the moisture out of the onions, helps it cook a little quicker. Now we got some hot peppers. So here we got some beautiful poblanos, okay? Some jalapeno, Ooh. some chipotle. Now that's, mm -hmm. what, that, that's what adds that smoky flavor. Right. A chipotle is basically a smoked jalapeno. So you wanna cook this for about eight minutes mm -hmm. while this gets cooking, if you can help me crush these tomatoes to so get your hands in there. All right. Are you ready to get They're your clean, hands dirty? So let's go for it. Yeah. Just, just squeeze them. Just squeeze them. Nah, and it just feels these. so good, you know? <laughs> just feeling those tomatoes get mushy between your fingers. Right? It's a beautiful it's thing. It's unusual. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her yeah. face. She's like, <laughs> it's just tomato. It's like therapy. <laughs> so now we're going to throw this tomato sauce in with all that beautiful aromatic goodness right in there. And then what I like to do, I like to sweeten with maple syrup. Why? Because it's natural and it not only adds flavor, uh, it not only adds sweetness, but flavor as mm -hmm. well. So a little bit of that maple, a little bit of oregano. Don't forget to squeeze it between your fingers. And I like to throw in a shot of espresso. Espresso? Yeah, just to give it a little ah, kick. You know? That's different. Yeah, in it goes. And then you season it, a little bit of freshly cracked pepper in there. And now, the magic of television. Ta-da! Now the last step is to add your beans. Here I got some kidney beans, some black beans. And just throw them in there, and you just want to heat them through. So another five minutes in here, and you've got these beautiful creamy beans. This and let takes me show no you. time. Look at this. A little oh. bit of sour cream, some green onion here. Let's taste this. This doesn't mm -hmm. take long at all. No, it really, it really doesn't. You can put some, some minced meat in there, mm -hmm. obviously. Taste, ladies. Mm. Go for it. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Lentils, if you'd like. Ooh. You do That's whatever so you want. Mm. That's so fresh. I probably would put a little, because <laughs> I'm a cheese. Oh, the smokiness of the chipotle. Right. You taste it? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. And we didn't, as you noticed, we didn't use any pre-made chili powder. We just did this from scratch, right? So that's why it has that nice natural flavor.